Yo, what's good with y'all? In today's video, I got a subscriber request in video. This is a how to make a keybinds selection video. To be completely honest, I never even really thought about this doing this video, honestly. Which I don't know how I. Y'all have no idea how many times I just sit down and just think of like ideas and then like won't come up with anything. So I'd be so grateful when you guys come up with stuff for me. But anyway, this video was, was requested to me and stuff. It's honestly extremely simple. Like I was like I never done it before, so I was just testing it out, and it took me like literally like a two minutes to figure out. I was like. Yeah, that's what I thought. But anyway, let's get straight into it. Okay, so by keybind chooser, I'm talking like say the default uh, key to run your game is shift, but somebody wants to change it to I don't know like Q for whatever reason. Um, we're gonna insert a screen GUI into start GUI, and you guys can call this keybind GUI. Keybind GUI, right? And then we're going to insert a text box and we're going to put it here. We're going to say, we can name this keybind text box, right? Key, oh sorry, keybind text box, right? We're gonna scale the text and bold it, but of course we don't need to put in the actual text, right? And we're gonna insert a local script here and call this keybind script. Delete print hello world as always. We're gonna need to make uh, two variables. Let's do local UIS, which is short for user input service. So equals game colon get service, user input service, then local key is equal to. And then for now, we'll say shift. Wait, oh, wait I just really, wait, hold on. Uh, key code dot shift. Aren't there? Yeah, okay, yeah, I thought so. Okay. So we're going to say left shift because that's usually the shift people go with, right? Left shift. So by default, we're going to say left shift, right? So here's our window, we're gonna do it like this. First, we're gonna set up the shift system. By the way, I'll have a tutorial that goes in depth of having a uh, sprint system at like linked at the end, in case you guys are interested in that, but anyway. So we're gonna do us.inputbegin, call and connect, function in parentheses, input. Then if input, that user input type is equal to enum dot user input type dot user input type dot keyboard, enter. Then here's where you think you're a little different. If input dot key code is equal to enum dot key code, then you guys can do regular brackets key because it's pretty much kind of searching the list of key code and it's going it's going to use that that one, right? So then you guys can then you guys can change the player's uh, uh, health. I mean, sorry, health walk speed. So let's do local player is equal to game dot players dot local player. Enter. So let's get the character local character. So you go to game that workspace colon find first child player dot name then you can do character dot hum humanoid dot walk speed is equal oh sorry is equal to uh, 32 I guess right and then we will have the opposites we'll have the opposites we can just copy and paste this oh sorry copy paste this bring this down here say input ended and set it back to 16 right we have our two functions for the sprinting system setup but we also need to have the likes changing your keybind right so what we want to do is we're going to do script dot parent dot focus loss colon connect function then uh i forget what is this the focus this isn't the uh i press enter never mind never mind no matter anyway so do local Text is equal to script uh, dot parent dot parent dot text, right? Or I guess local new key bind, right? And then we would change the value of key. So we would say key is equal to new key bind, right? And the text obviously is going to be a string, so it would, it, yeah, you'd make sure it's a string, obviously. So, yeah. Well, actually, you need to double. Yeah, actually, yeah. Yeah, actually, yeah. Hold on. Two string new key line because yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We should be good. Anyway. So yeah, there you go. So let's go ahead and do this real quick. Uh, um, let's see. I think we should be good. Uh. Okay. Let's click play. Right. And then I guess I'll just watch this from the workspace. So, 
we will go to my walk speed. Okay, right here. So if I put, if I hold down left shift, boom, 32. Let go, back to 16. But let's say I want to change this from shift. I want, let's say I want to do uh, the Q key, like I said before, right? Also, just to make sure, I'm not sure if lowercase uh, letters work, but just to be on the safe side, just go with uppercase. I know for a fact uppercase letters work, so make sure you do uppercase. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do uppercase W, then enter, right? And then it should change the value here. Obviously I won't see it change, but that should change the value here. Then now, obviously if I walk around and hold shift, okay, there we go. You see it doesn't work. But then if I hold down W, boom, there we go. If I release W, boom, there we go. So yeah, that's how you make a keybind selector. Um, to the person who requested it, thank you for thank you for requesting. Kind of know you've been watching this video, so thank you and stuff. And yeah, I hope this video was helpful. I know it's definitely be much very helpful video for everybody. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like and subscribe, and yeah, help me get to seven hundred and sixty subscribers. I appreciate y'all for watching. I'll see you guys. Script will be in the description as always, of course.